Let's tackle a major lawsuit now against the NFL's Washington Commanders. Washington, D.C.'s Attorney General filing a suit against the team Thursday, saying they've deceived fans about their own investigation into harassment and toxic workplace culture. And D.C.'s Attorney General Carl Racine is joining us right now. Uh, first of all, good morning. There's a, a lot to unpack here, so we're going to try to get to as many questions as possible, okay? Um, good morning, Adrian. Good morning. What evidence has your office collected to bring this suit forward? Exactly what, it, what are you targeting? Sure. Uh, let me describe. <clears throat> so, indeed, yesterday we filed a consumer protection lawsuit against Dan Snyder, the Washington Commanders, the National Football League, and Commissioner Roger Goodell for colluding to deceive D.C. residents about their so-called independent investigation into a toxic workplace culture um, that is that was the Washington Commanders. Uh, this lawsuit and the reason why they've been protecting themselves is because they wanted to protect their image and protect their profits, both Mr. Snyder, the commanders, as well as the NFL and Mr. Goodell. It's important for you to know that this is a civil suit, that under our Consumer Protection Act, merchants like the, the Washington commanders cannot lie to consumers who purchase their goods and services. And everyone who lives in the District of Columbia knows that there has been um, a love affair uh, between fans and the commanders up until recent times. The D.C. residents do not allow for nor support hostile workplace environments that target women, uh, that allow for sexual harassment. And we've been lied to about the nature of an independent investigation. And this lawsuit is going to reveal the truth about the commander's culture and the collusion between the commanders their owner Snyder and the NFL to hide the truth. So That's there's been over a year of these kinds of allegations popping up and this has taken some time. Why now? Why is your office suing at this particular time? Well, we're suing because we still are forced to take the word of the NFL and take the word of Dan Snyder as to the allegations. Mr. Snyder, for example, has indicated that he was not aware of the allegations, that he did not participate in them, and that, in fact, he was far too hands off. Our investigation reveals the contrary, that he was aware of the allegations, that he had knowledge, and that he participated in the allegations. Um, and so our investigation reveals that he's lying to D.C. residents about the allegations. The NFL told everybody that it's taking over an investigation and that it will be done independently. We literally have only seven sentences from the NFL about the investigation. What but we want to understand is what did they actually find and did they tell us the truth about what they found? Okay, so, so is the question... Does they have not. So is the question that they may not have told the truth? Or what is the lie? Because I'm, I'm trying to hear what evidence you have uh, that sure. would say there is proof that, I mean, because this is a very uh, ambitious lawsuit, so you have to have some hard, cold evidence. You're, you're right. And we don't bring lawsuits in the District of Columbia unless we have the facts and the evidence. The evidence will show that the Washington commanders maintained a hostile work environment directed specifically at women employees, including cheerleaders, that they took videos and pictures um, with and without the consent of the cheerleaders, that they compiled videos that were sexual in nature and misogynist without the consent of the cheerleaders, that when the cheerleaders complained, nothing was done about it, um, and that, in fact, the complainants were made to try to made to, uh, to, to, to be quiet and were discredited uh, and were investigated themselves. So we're going to reveal the truth about the hostile, toxic workplace, point one. Point two, we're gonna also reveal that the alleged independent investigation was not so, that the NFL and the commanders colluded to create this aura of an independent investigation that actually did not occur. And so what the NFL and the commanders have told you isn't the truth. The truth is going to come out by virtue of this lawsuit. Okay. 
We want to thank you, D.C. Attorney General Carl Racine, for joining us. I've got to read the statements uh, to make sure that we get both sides here. We really appreciate your time. Uh, the commanders, the Washington commanders, saying, although the lawsuit repeats a lot of innuendo, half-truths, and lies, we welcome this opportunity to defend the organization for the very first time in a court of law. And then the NFL giving this statement, saying, quote, we reject the legally unsound and factually baseless allegations made today by the D.C. Attorney General against the NFL and Commissioner Goodell and will vigorously defend against those claims. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.